me. I'm in here, I'm doing my work. The defender is trying to make my life difficult for me and I need to respond to the positions that he runs to and play where most space is. My task is to quite simply receive the ball from Hamish and be able to play up to John. John, you can't move. You must remain there, stand a wee bit more livelier for me and I've got to get the ball to you. What's going to happen? As soon as that ball's played in from Hamish, as soon as Hamish's foot touches that ball, has to sprint and either touch the central defender or get out and touch that white cone. That's going to leave space for me. I need to choose a turn, which is going to allow me to receive the ball in a new direction and get the ball to John before Liam can block. So Liam's task is to get out to there or there, then try and block my pass. Okay? For first of all, we must receive the ball inside spin. Okay? So play that ball into me. I'm looking at where he's going. Inside spin. Got to pass. Get it there. Go. The ball played. Well done. We rushed out to the side of the foot and be ready to play. In this practice, the players are tasked with collecting the ball and moving it to the target player. The working player must show excellent awareness of the play, taking pictures of the play over his shoulder in order to know where to take his first touch to allow the pass to the target man. Play into that picture. Go. Go. He's gone, get the ball played. Well done. Moving round. Two more. Go. See where he's got. Ball played, good position for the ball. Well done. Being alert. Both shoulders leaning, not just one. Go. And play. Go. So I'm looking, play the ball into me. I see where he's gone. Outside spin into the angle, I make my pass sharp. Go! See where it is? Up! Sharp. Really important that we get a wee bit more movement. Stop. Feet lifting. Able to adapt. Looking over both shoulders. Shoulders changing. So I can get a big picture of the game. Go! See where it's going. See where it's going. See where it's going. Well done. Good. Right. It's to do a couple of things. It's firstly, it's got to take us to where space is to get myself away from pressure and to allow myself the time to be able to play, okay? But as we become better and better players, we've got to be able to think a little bit ahead of the game. So let's say Adam's gone to that position, I've taken the ball in. The objective of this touch isn't just to go that way because Adam's there. The objective of this touch is to set up what I'm going to do next. I've already made my decision that next I'm going to pass to Scott. So for me to touch into a position there, is that a good touch? No, why not? I can't play it. I can't play it. So I need to move on from there. Yep, if you do the same work for me, Adam. I play in. I need to get around that corner a little bit. That sets the ball into the position to play. So if we do this well, it's two good touches. If it's three and we get it done, okay. But ideally, we're looking for a perfect receive into the position we play the ball. Go! Get it around that corner a wee bit. Then put up. 